Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Rufai Useni mocks President Tinubu over plans to commence operation at Port Arcot Refinery. Hello, my wonderful people. You know, uh, after the whole Tinubu speech and nothing was said about the three uh, federal government refinery in the country working, People just knew that Tinubu was a fraud. The conclusion just became very clear. And, you know, everybody began to spell it out. How come, with all you have said, you never made mention that the refinery in the country should work? Meaning, we're still going to be exporting our crude oil. They will refine it, we'll pay, then we import it again. What has changed? Okay, at best, um, Dangote refine what he can. Then we send the rest abroad. Yes? So how do we... Is it not the same thing over and over again? How do you intend to bring down the price of petroleum products? You know, and after the words keep ringing and ringing. Today when I said, oh, okay, we'll fix the one of Port Harcourt. That's where uh, Wiki is. And Nigerians just looked and said, my guy, my guy, this is terrible. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Rufai Oseni mocks Tinubu over plans to commence operation at Port Harcourt Refinery. Arise TV host Rufai Oseni has mocked President Bola Ahmed Tinubu over a promise that the Port Harcourt Refinery will commence operation in December of 2023. Late Nigeria reports that Tinubu made this known on Wednesday night during a meeting with various labor unions. The meeting came after organized labor commend, they com commenced a nationwide protest over what is described as anti-people policies introduced by the Tinubu's government since its inception on May the 29th, barely three months, 2023. According to Tinubu, the refinery Port Harcourt will commence operation after the completion of the ongoing rehabilitation contract between NNPCL and Italian firm. Marita Spa, reacting to the promise to labor union, Rafael Hussein in, in his Twitter page made reference to Dangote Private Refinery, which was, com which was commissioned in May with the promise to start operation in June and still has not started. <laughs> Making a jest of the situation, Rafael, noted, Rafael Hussein noted that the federal government has directed local refineries on how the fuel price will be marginally lower than the imported but that they have refused to adhere to it he tweeted from waiting to a private refinery now we are waiting for portacourt refinery in december <laughs> i repeat if our local refineries produce petrol and they buy in naira equivalent to the dollar for crude the price will be marginally low then the imports federal government has directed them but they will not do it because they benefit from the system from the chaos and from the lies being propagated rafael sini you have spoken where even the private one that was commissioned and all of them gathered has not started working the private one you know when something is your own, you know the way you put extra power now, eh? the way you make sure, say, ah, it's mine, no. Let's work, let's ensure that this thing begins. Even that one is not working. This is, they said June. This is July. This is August. Okay? They said June. Because in this country, we commit, we, we, com we commission unfinished products, and it's okay. We've seen in this country, we yeah, have Buhari Commission Road. Or hospital, but to mention but a few, and the thing is not working, has not it has not even been completed. We've seen a lot. So Rafael was saying so don't start again. Una don't start again. Why are we lying to ourselves? What is the meaning of what we are doing? In Tinubu, there are many things you can do, but lie to the people. Don't create a government that at the end of the day you will not be trusted. Do you know trust is not you telling the other person to trust you? It must be earned by your actions. It's not a day. It's a gradual build-up. 
Now imagine that you came in and everything you keep telling the people, they are doubting it. Hell skills me. Who will trust you? They will say, no mind them. They are all politicians. But I can tell you that that word, they are all politicians, does not apply to everybody. Because I've seen a situation in this country when a man stood up and says, listen, I have served as a governor for eight years. I'm not a saint, but go and check my record. If you find anything that implicates me, I will step down from the presidential race. And as we speak today, up till now, nobody has come to say, okay, we found this and that and that. Not even, not even CBN could go through his record and find a loophole. He is a Nigerian man, born, in, born and raised in Nigeria. I'm not talking about born and raised, probably abroad, then relocated. No, in Niger very Nigerian. So who exactly are you deceiving? So you come in and your mission statement is to lie to the people. Remember, everyone is watching. People know. You are the one who thinks nobody knows. People know. They are watching you. Yes. They are paying attention. Great one at that. They are really paying attention and they are watching you. At the end of the day, you will get a report card. It will either make or mar your political career. So care must be taken with the authormost. You can't jeopardize with it. You can't come and begin to say either or. No, it doesn't work that way. You must become very careful as you do it. You must become very careful because the world is watching. Everyone is seeing what is happening. You must understand it. You must understand it. That everybody knows. Everybody knows. So pay great attention. Okay, what did I say? Pay great attention. Pay great attention. Don't allow yourself to be used. You know why? Hmm. If you allow yourself to be used, at the end of the day, you will not like it. Oh. You will not like it. So it is what it is. Remember, you have a voice. Remember that at the end of the day, every one of us will know exactly what to do. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.